teach you an Italian Nona secret for real. You have to finish everything with olive oil. See, adding fat will give it like a creamy, sheeny effect. All right, so here is really your moment of truth. Is your fish overcooked? Is your skin crispy? Is your skin still on the fish? Wow. I got really, really nice crispy skin here. Oh, sorry. We're going to wow. get that right on top. Take a little bit of the cabbage and Voila. That's it. Beautiful. Thank now, this you. is an Osteria Mozza classic staple. This is not entry level, obviously, today. You have to become not only expert cooks, but cooking instructors when we head back to the MasterChef kitchen. You really have not made this easy on us. This is the first time I've actually felt really stressed in this competition. I don't know how I'm possibly going to pull this off. Best of luck. Liz, thank you. That was awesome. You're so welcome. Thank you, so much. Thank you awesome. very much. Thank, thank you, you so much. Michael just needs to get here. I'm ready to cook. Absolutely. I'm ready to soak up what he's got to throw down, man. No egos in the kitchen. Yeah. Nick's steering the ship. We all listen to Nick. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 100%. Confident about your strategy? Yeah. Very. Who on your team are you worried about, Michael? I don't think I really have a worry right now, because I've kind of laid it out in a way that everybody has a role. You have any weak points on your team? If I am a good leader, I don't think I should have any weak points. I totally agree. It's time to get in there and teach your teams how to make the three-course Italian meal that you just saw. I want to see three dishes of each course. That's one per judge, nine in total. Okay. You will have one hour to pull this off. You better get moving, because your time starts now. Ooh. Yo, guys, let's go. Right team, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to see three dishes of each course. That's one per judge, nine in total. Okay. You will have one hour to pull this off. You better get moving, because your time starts now. Ooh. Yo, guys, let's go. Right team, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're going to cut right to the chase here, OK? OK. Clock is ticking. What's up, guys? Joe. Welcome back. How do you go, buddy? Good. All right. Good stuff, man. We spent a whole day with Joe at the restaurant. OK. And um, we have three different recipes we're doing today, OK? OK. Ricotta and egg raviolo, which has the raw egg inside. Second is a lamb rack that's marinated in a tahini and lime marinade with uh, grilled broccolini. The last dish is a sea trout. I'm breaking you guys up into teams. Sarah and Sherry, you guys are on pasta. This dish is extremely fragile. If you break the yolks, game over. The lamb dish, Noah and Liz, I know you can knock this one out of the park. Lamb, I mean, come on. Let's roll. That's you, right? Absolutely. The fish dish is the most complicated. I'm putting all three of you, but Dorian, I want you in charge. Okay. Sam, you're actually going to be the one cooking the fish. And Suba, I have a good feeling you can handle some Absolutely. freaking lentils. Jamie, you're a big fish guy, right? Yes, sir. Do you want to take the lead on the fish? Absolutely. All right, let's do that. With Jamie, I do want to put Bree, who's got that really delicate plating ability. So there's a lentil nest on the bottom, fish on top, and then the cabbage on top. Of exactly, the OK? So Mike on the lentils, that's really fine knife work. But if you're comfortable with that, it's, it's brunoise. Nice. It's brunoise, yeah. I want the lamb station to be handled by Katora and Fred. And then the shallots, are they diced or sliced? Those are really finely kind of diced. And then we got Wuta and Renee on the ravioli. You want to boil it as long as it takes for the butter to brown. The grated Parmesan is it on top? Yeah, you just do a nice, nice microwave. Okay. I can help with that at the okay. end. In all honesty, is this kind of challenge too early for these amateurs? I really don't know. We've never done a challenge this difficult this early on with this many home cooks in the kitchen. We might be pushing the envelope, but season 10, this is the time to do it. Hey, guys, we're going to win this. Get in here. Get in right, here. Absolutely. Let's kill it today. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go, guys. 50 minutes remaining. Let's go. Break. Start separating the eggs very carefully. We also need to get the ricotta strained in the cheese cloth. I'm feeling extremely strong right out of the gate after Mike explains all the recipes. How are we with the cabbage? Go a little thinner. A little tiny thinner. bit thinner. He's giving us out notes. I'm ready to go. Pick your lambs. Which lambs? I think these are the two best. I would say cut them all and see which get the most beautiful cuts. Absolutely. So for the brown butter, I have a whole stick of butter. Good. Uh, yeah, enough. you don't really have to cut it up like that if you don't want, but either way. Nick is taking complete charge and he's making sure that our flavors are exactly on point. I'm trusting the kid right now. All right, so it's got to be super salty. When you get a chance, Nick. Like, way saltier than you think. Nick, I need you at your earliest convenience. 
everyone's calling my name and getting me to help clarify things, which is okay because I couldn't have possibly put everything down on those pages. First, we cook the meat and then let's grill this off. Right? Absolutely. That, that needs to rest. Absolutely. And this doesn't. Pasta dough, eh, whatever. I've done it before. It might not be perfect, but I can accomplish it. Renee, how's the dough? I'm getting it done. All right. Let's get it in the fridge as soon as we can. Yep. So Nick made ravioli as a signature dish, which were very, very good. I think Nick has an edge, but I think Michael has the experience and the maturity to drive his team to victory. This is Joe's restaurant, so we are not sending anything out that looks like crap. Hey, we got 40 minutes. We got 40 minutes to go. So the jeopardy this evening is that one full team will be facing elimination. And the winning team will be safe on the balcony. Yes. I'm going to get the water on, Sarah. OK. Salty as the sea. I'm not worried about the pasta itself. I actually have a pasta maker at home, and instead of Play-Doh, my daughter and I make pasta. She rolls out the dough, and I'm cranking out actual pasta. It's looking good, Sarah. It looks good. Thank you. All right, Dawn, you got some cabbage in there? You want a little bit more? This is probably yeah, good. Yeah, probably plenty. Yeah. I'm going to add the balsamic in, like, three minutes. OK. OK, let us go in. How you doing, Suba? Ah, good, good. So far, so good. I feel very comfortable cooking lentils. There's over 30 varieties of lentils in India, and I cook them all the time. Spatula, spatula, wherever spatula is. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. Woo! This looks awesome. My grandma taught me how to make a lamb roast when I was a kid, but I've never done a marinade like this, which makes me more excited because that's why I'm here, is to do things outside my comfort zone and to learn. Mike, taste this. Mmm. Dead on? Delicious. A little more Perfect. salt? Little, it's not seasoned. I'll let you season it. Do your stuff and taste it. Taste, taste. Then I'm putting the lamb in it, so make sure it's good. Taste this. Boom. Yep. Nail it. Awesome. Remember, we're only doing four pieces of fish. Four that are the exact same size. Four of the best pieces there. I've cooked fish hundreds, if not thousands of times. But I took the first piece of fish, slapped it in a hot pan, and the skin just slid right off. Right off the bat, that was kind of a bad omen. Sam, please let me know if you need any help. I really don't, but I want to fire more fish to practice. No cast iron? No, stainless, 100%. It got to be piping hot. Yeah, I, I know. 30 minutes to go. We've got to get cooking, guys. Let's go. Right, Captain Nick, who's doing what? So we have Renee and Wuta up on pasta, and I'm kind of floating over here because it's kind of a tricky dish to do. OK, good. Who's doing the lamb? The lamb is that back row right there with Fred and Gatora. And then we got Bree, Jamie, and Micah on the fish. OK, yes, keep it going. Thank you. Michael, how do you feel where you are right now? Oh, man, I think everybody's kicking ass. Noah and Liz are on the lamb. Dorian's in charge of the fish station. And Sarah and Sherry are on pasta. Everything tastes good. It's seasoned. So what about the pasta? When are you going to start rolling that out? Pasta's chilling. We got about four more minutes on the chill. OK. Who's cooking the lamb? I'm going to do it in the next two minutes. So what's the big issue with grilling it? Rendering the fat. So be careful you don't burn it before you render it. OK. Hi, Joe. Hi, Ron. When are you going to start rendering this thing? Uh, I'm going to be putting it on in a minute, 30 seconds. Who's doing the brown butter? I'm doing the brown butter. OK, don't take it too dark, OK? OK. Make sure you know when that point is. Again, be careful. Taste it, yes? OK. Michael. Are you ready? No. I think it still needs another minute. That white was getting a little higher last time I saw it, so don't move yet. Ready? Yes. Give me a W. W. Give me an A. A. Give me a T. T. Give me an E. E. Give me an R. R. Water. Four. Pasta. Pasta. On. Oh. Oh, duh. my God. I had a really stupid moment. I apologize. Four. Pasta. On. Oh. Oh, duh. my God. I had a really stupid moment. I apologize. We're good. We're good. Let's get two. All right, Renee, go get the dough. I'm feeling good. I'm, I had a little bit of a dumb moment because I'm like, huh? With the water? <laughs> but hey, it's OK. You know, I'm getting it. The pasta is rested. Does that feel oh, good? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's really beautiful. What we need to see right now, gentlemen, is the captain's bean, less vocal and more hands-on. We can't have this much liquid in there, so I would figure out a way to get some of that out. Neither captain has cooked. They're walking around like a soccer coach, yelling at people. 
right. even go a tiny bit darker. More. They actually burnt them a little bit. Okay, burn them. There's going to be a point that they're going to have to get in.